t minus 6 squared. We write t minus 6 twice. Then we're going to separate these two terms. The t and the negative 6 are separated. Put this parentheses here. Put the same parentheses onto the negative 6. You end up with t times this t. You have... Uh, Here's your minus, just copy that minus down, and then you'll have this t times the 6. So here's where this minus went, okay? Now you have to be careful with this minus, okay? It's going to go on to the, the negative 6 is going to go on to the t, and the negative 6 is going to go on to a minus 6. So let's write a, uh, here's your minus 6 times your what? t, all right? And then just for a minute, just put a plus, just stick a plus right there, okay? Because we're going to take this negative 6, put it here, and this negative 6, put it here, okay? All right, so we have t squared. We have minus 6t. Repeat that again. And what is a negative times a negative? And 6 times 6 is 36, okay? So now we have t squared. When you add a minus 6 and a minus 6, okay, you get minus 12, okay? But what's it going to be? It's going to be a like term, isn't it? So negative 6 is like the negative 6 is like the negative 12. See? You have negative 6t, negative 6t, negative 12t. These three terms are like. So we say when you add like terms, you get a like term. And you do it by combining negative 6 and minus 6. If you owe $6, you're $6 in debt. And you're $6 in debt. Your debt did what? Increased up to $12. So here's your debt. Minus is debt. You're in debt or minus 12T. Bring this 36 down. 